Call Moana, honey. You're hungry, right? It's okay. You can eat me if you need to. If it means you'll go back to your sweet, normal self. Stop! Like, there's monsters all over the place. Why not feed those to her? Call Moana. I've got your mom's medicine right here. You're lying! God, I hate it's her. True. Your mom heard you had a fever, so she sent us this medicine to give to you. No! It's okay. It's not bitter. Your mom figured out a way to make it sweet, just for you. I don't believe- It's true. Here, see? Uh. Just kill her. You lied to me. I know, I know. I'm really sorry, Kamoana. But I had to. And with this side close, I never have to deal with her again? Kamoana's fever has finally broken. She seems to be sleeping soundly. Well, that's one crisis averted. Eleanor, I couldn't have done this without you. Thank you. I was just following your example. You're really prepared to pull out all the stops for her, aren't you? I am. I don't know how this will all end up, but it just feels like the right way. I may be weak, but as long as I can stay true to myself and live life as fully as I can, I figure my mom will maybe understand. You already seem pretty strong to me, Eleanor. Seriously? What could ever make you think that? It's the parts you don't think about that are the strongest. That doesn't even make sense! <laughs> a mother's not ever going to be that hard on her child, no matter how they turn out. Mothers just want their children to be well, and to live a happy life. I'm sure that's what yours meant for you. You think? Sounds right to me. If you ever become a mom yourself, you'll understand. I can't say I plan on it right now, but... Duly noted. Eleanor! What's wrong? Why is your face all red? Is it? It's just... Uh... You see... We're just having a little girl talk amongst ourselves. You're free to join if you like, though. What? you're a little uh, bitch. No thanks! Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have teased him so much there. I may not be a mother, but I think I do understand. When I'm around Lafayette and Kamalana, 
Strong or weak, level-headed or a little lost, it doesn't matter. All kids deserve to have a good life. Those are two characters I hate, so... I guess, uh, being constantly annoyed is what it's like to be a mother? Grimoire, could we talk? You sound so serious. Like it's the eve of the final battle. Well, isn't it? Can't you let yourself get caught up in the moment for a change? Getting caught up in the moment is for young, foolhardy lovers. So, what is it you want to talk about? I just figured I should drop by since... Well, like I said, the final battle with Inominat is coming up and all. Ugh, you're talking like you're saying your last goodbyes. It's just that we're up against a lot. Even Miss Mogilu doesn't know what the future holds for us, and she almost always has that stuff figured out. Whether she has it figured out or not, it is our lot in life to follow our vessels and fight to the very end. That's what I've always thought, so I just dealt with Miss Mogilu's craziness up till now. But... she's never thanked me for it! No, good job, Bienfu! No, I'm glad I'm your vessel! Not even something like, I'll introduce you to a cute girl when it's all over! It'd be nice to hear a little gratitude from her, even just once. Surely you know she's not the type to do that sort of thing, though, yes? That's all the more reason to want just one brief glimpse at who she is underneath. If you're so unhappy, it's not too late to switch back to the Abbey's side and become an informant again. What's the point in that? I don't know anything they'd want, and they wouldn't have any use for me there. So you lack confidence in your own abilities. Miss Moggy Lewis let me come with her wherever she went, and her talents have gotten us this far. But now that we have to fight Inominat, I'm worried. I don't know what use I can be for her, or if I can keep her safe. But you'll still go, won't you? Yeah, of course! Or else my name isn't Norman Brave! See, you can do this. You've been keeping Moggy Lou safe this whole time. Has With he, all though? the emotional pain she's been through, she's needed someone as thick-skinned and tenacious as you. She may talk like she doesn't care, but she wouldn't have tracked you down and renewed your pact if she didn't. When you put it like that... Bien! All right, you convinced me! That's right. You just trust in old Norman therapist's good advice. It won't steer you wrong. Wow! I'd have never expected you to actually make a joke like that, Grimoire! I just thought I'd get caught up in the moment like you wanted. Ah. <sighs> I'm done without that cutscene. Didn't really accomplish anything. Alright, now to tell it soon. Cats, is it? Fox.
Is this fucking game sending me? I think it's that box, but nothing happened when I touched the box. I have roof access or anything, right? Must be on top somewhere. Ah, okay. I see. Or do I? Yeah, there he is. Meow, 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 meow! Your attention, please, for an important announcement. To commemorate all your hard work saving my friends, I'd like to invite you to come to Cat's Corner. Whoa, Cat's Corner. Awesome. But we don't have any business there. Now hold on. Cat's Corner is a sort of phantom place that's never been plotted on any map before. And we'll have the chance to explore it. If it's home to a lot of cats, I kind of want to see it for myself. Where's your cat face, bitch? It's a waste of our time. Oh, come on, Velvet. Quit being such a killjoy. Cat's Corner is like an exclusive members only club. Nobody but nobody would turn down an invitation. Exactly. You should be grateful for this opportunity. Just think of it as a new experience. Besides, aren't you even a little bit curious? I can't believe this. You guys are starting to sound more casual than the cats now. Well, if you ever feel like visiting Cat's Corner, just say the word. Meow. Meow. Wow, so this is Cat's Corner. I'd never have guessed a place like this existed. <laughs> what an adorable little hamlet. You can feel your motivation to get stuff done just floating away. And look at all the cats! <laughs> it's so peaceful here. Kinda makes me want to sit down for a big feast. Look, over there. Is that the cat's pajamas? I've heard stories. <laughs> oh no! Velvet, don't tell me you're... Are you allergic to cats? That's why I didn't want to come here. Are you gonna be okay, Velvet? Of course, it's not... What's unique about your dialect? She was amazing! Sorry, I have no idea what you just said. I said, this fried shrimp is amazing! Cool, huh? Wow. So how do you say brother in your dialect? Muir. Sister? Muir. Mother? Muir. They all sound the same to me. Can cats where you're from tell the difference? Of course. It's all about the nuance. I think it's a bit like too Chinese. much to wrap my head around. Oh, yeah. What about father? Father is father. Huh? That one's normal. No insulting! No, that it is what you mean, you know? I'm sorry. I forgive you. That's very kind of you. But the proper way to apologize in Nyagoya dialect is you know, way to your forgiveness. This is just going to be loaded with bad cat puns. The Papa Wrestling Beauty 
World Catnip Cup Tabbyweight title matches tonight, Meow! The rules are simple. The contestants need each other with their paws. The first to make a sound loses, or meows out. So, is there like a countdown or something? Yup! A purr count starts when one fighter starts purring. Purr for three seconds and you're out, meow. Are there any illegal moves? Grabbing the back of the neck and nibbling are both forbidden and incur heavy penalties. It sounds like a lot of fun. I'd love to try it myself. There's going to be an Anything Goes division in the next Agarte Cup. Any race can participate. Just put on a pair of cat ears and you're in, meow. That manta in here, that's good. He looks like an elf. He fits. I've got fervor for adventure. I travel the world to reclaim hidden treasures, meow. Doesn't that just make you a cat burglar? Big words coming from a pirate, meow. You guys pilfer and pillage anything you can get your paws on. You prattle on about how romantic your life on the sea is, but you're just a bunch of ruffians. I... I'm sorry. Good. As long as you know where we stand, meow. I've got my own ship, and wait till you hear what I named it. It'll make your whiskers spin. I call her Von Miotia of my youth.
Fuck off, bird. I'm going the wrong way. Right? No, this is the right way. Okay. I'll show you the beauty of my fireworks. Indecisiveness caused this fight. Yeah, I would have personally waited till after the combo was done, but sure. You do what you want, game. Do whatever the fuck you want. Boogie board here. Oh, fuck off, fuck off. Double fuck off.
Awesome after I believe is it actually in the earth pulse which is supposed to be here somewhere and then there's another one in the temple hypothetically two bosses over here I mean my memory's correct My name is passing through. Wait, am I at the wrong place? Son of a bitch. I'm at the very wrong place. I still recall there being a, a boss monster in here somewhere. Ferocious it gets, right? I'd rather not find out. Let's take it down fast. Nobody told you to swap in. That was a considerably powerful enemy. Not really. I don't know how, but we managed to beat it. It devoured other demons purely by instinct. Sounds kind of like me, doesn't it? No, you do a lot of premeditated eating. So you've eaten a few cows, or demons, whatever. When you're hungry, you eat. The only ones who put any moral weight on it are humans. Personally, I wouldn't sweat it too much. What are you trying to say? It's fine. I don't really care if I'm seen as a bad guy. I don't really know how to put it, but... I sensed a kind of strength inside that demon. Like a determination to continue living. It was powerful and frightening, but I don't think it was bad. Figures. Super easy. Too easy, even.
Let's go after the right thing, in the right place. That definitely looks like an Earth Pulse entrance. I don't sense he know me not here. We still need to be careful. We might have ousted him from the Earth Pulses, but the four Empyreans are in play now. If we want to learn anything useful, we'll need to go inside. Be ready for anything. And for Paratus. Oh, how did I miss that? Definitely made the rounds on this thing. Both the opening and the advent began here. This is where the me before I was born died. And it's where Lord Artorius sacrificed Velvet's brother. Hmm. The former leader of the exorcists and Melchior searched high and low for the resting place of Inominat, the nameless Empyrean. No wonder they never found it. Who'd have thought he'd be sealed away out here in the middle of nowhere? And these patterns. They're similar to those I've seen in foreign temples, built during the Era of Darkness. That's some good camouflage. I doubt Artorius realized the true purpose of this shrine until he witnessed Inominat's power firsthand. Maybe. Hey, can we seal Inominat back in here? No, we can't. I can't detect even a trace of the original seal's art. Me neither. But I can tell you this is the Earth Pulse point. Oh well. If a cat's already out of the bag, it won't go back in. Believe me, I've tried. Even if there was a way to seal him here again, I wouldn't do it. I want to settle things with the Nomi Not my way. I cat likes to sleep in her carrier sometimes. Comfy. Pretty much a bag. seem to be getting hit by anything, but I was making, I'm getting hit noises and couldn't move. No, I can't. 
Too slow. They sold him there. Ah, oh, shit, too, I got the fade. I didn't even realize they were there earlier. Try to go berserk, it didn't work. Okay, so that Death's Embrace thing does some kind of invisible attack. I was out! Oh, I thought I was dead. I need a quicker first attack on that. I don't have a quicker water attack though. That's the problem. He's only weak to water. Water and undead. Actually, that really fucks him up. Uh, resistant to. No, I can't die here. Get down. Get down. Get Spencer for a first move. What's just that? No escape! Mine! No escape! No escape! Oh, I got stuck on that rock. And like, How come they didn't get out? Put it 
Pop out. That's a uh, thing pop out. Someone else must have got it or something. Or I'm seeing things. That's a quarter march. I don't think he's used any new moves. He's used two moves. How's that 666? Okay. I told him I was very much not out. Hit the goddamn berserk button three times during that. Hit me again. Okay. Berserk. Now I'm just trying to do it just because it wouldn't work before. Why is it dead? Why are you not... Oh, there we go. Oh, half point point. Looks like he's got new shit. close to him and died. Fucking bitch! Uh huh. Okay. How come that same move was not invisible on other people? It's like a wave of fire normally. Light of light! Illuminate us! How could I 
I am behind him! The berserk button 50 fucking times. Okay, not 50, but five. Disgraceful. Knew he was gonna do that fucking move. Why am I at one life? Just at 3k. Nice one. Not like he hit me. Mm, you're fucking worthless. It just keep hitting me with invisible shit. Where does my health keep disappearing to? So full of shit, I hate you. I did not activate that. Why would I activate that when I needed to protect myself from shit like this? Okay. 
Oh, it's looking more like it's supposed to. Not back to back, do that to me. That'd be great. something here, cat. What you need? Come on. Cat loves food. Whoa! Hey, everyone's dead. Okay. Why wouldn't they be? Don't stand there, stupid. Right here. Why are you not mystic guarding when I tell you to mystic art? Blocking! Why were you running in when I held block? Jesus fucking Christ, this game and the inputs are driving me fucking insane. I don't think we have a chance! Once again, you're not letting me miss the cart. There's no reason for me to lose that fight right there. I had everything I needed if the inputs would have just fucking worked. So here I am doing this shit again. There's no fucking good reason for me to. Okay, sure. I was out of the ring and I was blocking, so that was a double bullshit one. Get out! I say get out, that's because I already hit it three fucking times. Like 
Get out! Unresponsive bullshit. Okay, yeah, just sit there and take it. Get out, not keep attacking. Why are you running in before I even hit anything? wouldn't leave when I was telling it to, so I figured I'd do that instead. Still not letting me out, but okay. Do it again. I'll cover the game's flaws with fucking overusing things. Get out! What? I was out of the ring and I was blocking. It made no sense. None sense whatsoever. Wouldn't let me dodge, wouldn't let me activate. Activate, activate! It's the least responsive fight since the fucking dragon. Wait, where'd these guys come from? I didn't even know he could do that. Ready to die? Think you can dodge? Just try. Perfect mayhem! And maybe there's that kill. I don't know. Just set him up for me. Nice. Wait, more? Of course. I love getting stunned when I'm spamming the button to Therian Eyes. He doesn't give me a bonus stun just to fucking piss me off more. Activate! And now activate! And now, there we go! Fine, I'm doing the thing. better that I don't do the thing, right? Do the thing! Why do you not respond to my controls? And also, where do these guys keep coming from? I met full souls, of course I'm trying to activate it. <laughs> Like 
There we go. Actually chained it. Chaining is usually where it happens the best, or the easiest. In this fight, man, I've failed so many chains. You don't want me miss it? Of course you're not. Come on, let me miss it. Hate this fucking game. So let me use a four mystic, get two souls back, and do a shitload of damage. But no, the goddamn controls don't respond. No, 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 no. There we go. Activate. How did all those come at me? Nowhere near where that was activated. Start, come on. I'm amazed that it went off that time. I refuse to fall here. Fucking bullshit. Could have been done on the first one. If you like it. I got a higher chance of the three things, so that's good. 
one more piss off boss out of the way. Are we ready what? For this? There's nothing thin in there. He was kind of big. I think I'd see him. I think that's fucking high stun rate. Because the wind up means you see it coming and you should dodge it. Like, hey, we're telegraphing the shit out of this attack, so you get hit by it, that's on you. Just fair. Oh, I'm looked away to look at my cat and whatever she's tearing up, and I got stunned. Why are you attacking that? That plate never did nothing to you. I don't see you down there. I'm really good at hiding. Meow. Ooh. I'm undead shit here. The Empyrean of Death. With that, the oath is now formed. Ceres, take heed. I've now embedded a portion of the art formula within your corporeal form. Over the next several months, it should take hold and crystallize using the power of the oath. The art you'll use to control the power my body has accumulated? That is correct. Brunhild, the sorcerer's ring. It is an art that was lost long, long ago on this continent. Reviving it requires considerable investment. So that is why you tied the oath to my life force. The formula will only be completed once I've... died. Do you have something to say? No. I understand that this is a necessary step in order to realize armatization and bring Enominat under your control. And even though Siegfried possesses a similar power, Lord Melchior has yet to successfully locate the device. Knowing that, our research must be accelerated. That is the only reasonable way. Hmm. Then you understand. From here on, you are to focus on completing the Sorcerer's Ring. As you say. I trust you're not having any second thoughts about this? She's a Moloch. Here to serve and nothing more. And today she's proved herself quite loyal. Yes. I am Ceres. I am your Moloch. I am simply a tool for you to fulfill your ideals. So Ceres took her oath to make armatization possible. But what a heavy price to make her pay. And Artorius did it knowing that she was his reincarnated wife. Oh, who am I to talk? There was a time not long ago when I'd have done the same thing. Regardless, things are now starting to come together. What happened to Ceres and to Eifried and Siegfried? It's all related. This all occurred so Artorius could armatize with Inominat and control him. Here. And then Velvet ended up devouring that power and making herself public enemy number one. How deliciously ironic. No, Ceres knew what was going on, and she still... But the Abbey has secured Siegfried's formula, and they're almost certainly using it to complete Inominat's Armatus. Let's keep going, Velvet. Yeah, 
We've come too far to turn back now. Okay. I'll see this through to the end. Here you are. Okay, that is fast. Oh, I can't parry nice. eyes. Oh, will you not miss the guard when I say to? Up, Cap. Come here to me. Not a mind reader. Come on, really? Uh -oh. Leave me alone, leave me alone. You're ugly. You want treats? Is that what you're after? Is that what you're angling for? Just why? Why even have this? That looks like it's something. Again, that looks like the same thing. So I guess just how the floor looks. That was dumb. I don't like dead ends. Come on, is that against the fucking lead? Hey, let's look up what I had it on. Time. Cat mandated. 